How to show different banner images for mobile and desktop on Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's Shopify tutorial, I will show you how to show a different banner image on mobile or desktop. And basically I will show you how to set up everything needed to know in this video. So to get started, head over to your Shopify dashboard and then navigate to online store right here on the left. Then under themes, you are going to see a general overview of all of the different themes that you have installed. Now, just for the sake of this video, I will add a new Dawn theme onto this to actually get started from scratch so that you can actually replicate this and so that everything is going to make sense on your end. However, the setup is actually going to work for all of the different themes out there. So no matter if you're going to use the Dawn theme, Spotlight theme, Refresh theme, Craft theme and so on, it is going to work nonetheless and the steps are going to be be exactly the same. So let me quickly refresh my site and let's quickly see if the down theme is installed. And as you can see, now it successfully got installed. Now you can just click on customize or actually I will just publish it right away. And then I'm going to click on customize right here to open up our editor. Now I assume most of you are already familiar with this. Basically by default, we do have our image banner right here, which you can also see on the left. Generally right here on the left, you are going to see a general overview of your site. And then once you've selected certain uh, basically blocks or certain sections, you can then edit them right here on the right. So in this case, I'm going to select the image banner section, which by default got added. And then I'm going to add an image onto this. So this actually would be my desktop image. So in this case, I'm just going to pick this one right here. Okay, this would be my desktop image. Perfect. We would now actually have to further customize this depending on our stores. So in my case, I would probably just put down the image overlay opacity and I'm then also going to delete these two blocks right here. So in this case, I'm going to delete the browse or latest products uh, text and I'm also going to delete the button right here. And now we just have the image, in our case, the desktop image. However, if we're now going to change the view to mobile, which we can do by using this button right here. As you can see, this is going to be the same exact image as we have set for desktop, which obviously we don't want. We want to change this. So to actually change this, head back to desktop first of all, and then simply just add a new section onto this right here on the left and add a second image banner section. So just look for image banner and select the image banner. And then I'm actually going to drag it right beneath the first image banner. And now, once again, we will have to first of all delete these blocks right here. Then I'm just going to delete these buttons and I'm just going to upload an image onto this. So in my case, I'm just going to select another image. Uh, so I'm just going to use this image right here of some guy standing in the park, I guess. So I'm just going to use this. You will just have to update this with your own preferences and with your own images. You can then obviously also customize it. You can change the image overlay opacity, the desktop content position, if you do want to display content on this image and so on. But for now, uh, we are actually done with adding these images. So just click on save right here on the top right and then simply just opt out of the editor. Now we will actually have to get into the Basically, we will have to edit the code with Shopify. However, no worries, guys. This is actually going to be super straightforward. And if you're just going to follow the steps or what I'm doing, you aren't going to have any problems and it is basically going to be super simple. So to get started, just select your theme and then click on the three dots right here. Then click on edit code. Now, this is really important. Follow me closely. Just look for base.css right here on the left. As you can see by default, right away, you are going to see base.css. Now, so on some of the older themes, this actually is called theme.css. But if you're going to use a new theme, uh, this most likely will be called base.css. Either way, the setup is going to be exactly the same. Just select this and then scroll all the way down. It's just going to use the slider right here. And then you will have to basically create some new lines. And then make sure to actually navigate to the link down below. This will actually be a link to this Google Doc document where you can find the actual code which we will need for this to actually work. So I'm just going to copy this from right here and then I'm going to paste this in. 
Now, if we're now going to save this and if we're now going to preview our storm, right now we do have two pictures and for this to actually work, we will have to set the correct ID, the correct banner ID right here. So to do so, I'm simply just going to open up the inspect tool right here and then I'm going to first of all select the actual banner which I want to display on desktop. So in this case, I'm just going to actually select this right here on the right and then as you can see, this would be our desktop banner and now we do need to copy the idea of this okay so you can actually see the idea right here div id uh, basically and then right here you can just double click this and make sure to actually copy this from right here then head back to your shopify store and right here you will then just have to simply paste this in right here paste this in then make sure to save this and now we will basically have to do the same thing for our basically mobile banner so let's quickly uh, change this to mobile now for the mobile banner section the actual banner id is going to be this thing right here the div id one not the section id one so just select the div id right here and then double click and just make sure to actually copy this and then once again paste this onto yeah, basically onto Shopify right here. Make sure to actually update both of these lines right here. Then click on save. And once we've now saved this, we can actually opt out of this. And if we're now going to preview our store, let's quickly do this. I'm going to click on view right here. So if we're now going to preview our store right here, you can see that on mobile, this image, which we have actually set beforehand is going to show up. And if I'm now going to, let me actually show you this in the editor. Um, so as you can see, basically right now on basically on desktop, only this image is going to show up. However, if I'm going to change the view to mobile, as you can see, this image is going to be shown. And this image is also going to be shown to our customers. And we can now obviously also further customize this right here. And once we have actually basically once we have set this we can then also customize this we can add certain blocks onto this and so on and if we're now going to also preview this on the live store as you can see right here as well this is actually going to work and this is going to be updated accordingly we all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.